Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today I am going to try out Torchlight 3 for the very first time. So not everybody knows because it hasn't been featured very much on my channel but Diablo 2 and 3 and Torchlight 2 are probably some of my favorite games of all time and I very much was looking forward to Torchlight 3 up until I heard that they're going to make it an online only game and then they made it a pay to win game and then they reverted that back to a single player once off kind of a thing and then the re reviews started coming out and it sucked um so basically i waited to see if it got better and based on the feedback i was seeing it wasn't. But then it came to Xbox Game Pass. And I figured, you know what? I can give it a try for what is technically free. It's just my time. So, sure, why not? So here we are. Torchlight 3, trying it out for the very first time. I'm very excited. I know the reviews have been very mixed on the game so far, but... Generally speaking, I like these types of games, so it's uh, it's going to be very hard to disappoint me, I suppose. At the same time, it could be very easy, so uh, let's just jump in and see you. No, you cannot collect my statistics. Uh, I don't want to... Yes, sure. Let's just assume they're not evil. It has been a century since the Dark Alchemist drained the Elemental Guardians of their power, using it to crack open the Clockwork Core and unleash the Nether of Four great heroes ventured deep beneath our world to defeat the Netherlord and seal the Clockwork Core using the heart of the Dragon Beast Ordrak. But now, the heart surges towards the edge of destruction. Ordrak's spirit pumps through the veins of Novastrea and infests the Ember within. The power of the Netherlord threatens the world once more. An ancient evil reborn, reinvented. <laughs> now it is up to you. Face the challenges ahead and defeat the Netherim. Do you choose fame, fortune, or the future of the frontier? Okay, so, fairly generic storyline, not that that has much input on anything. Right, select a class. So, interesting though, that looked a little weird. Everything was a little uh, blurry, so maybe let's just quickly have a look at these settings. So, first of all, I would have liked to see... I'm a little disappointed that there weren't subtitles during that cutscene. I like having subtitles available even if I can fully hear the audio. Master volume, voice chat, disable camera shake, language, blood, gamer tags, damage numbers, click to move, UI safe zone, text UI chat. This is a little disappointing and very, very confusing. Full screen resolution, custom aspect ratio, shadows, post person. Right. Um, 
Okay, that's super disappointing. So... Uh... Let's see what these are. So, sharpshooter is combination of ranged weapons and magical trinkets. Take aim with the precision skills. Deftly firing on enemies. So, this is things like... Onslaught, which is a hailstorm of arrows. It's explosive tipped arrows. It's short ranged wide cone, those kind of things. Adventurer skills use artifacts to the sharpshooter has collected to debuff enemies. Each adventurer skill gives an adventurer bonus buff that applies. Active skill, active skill. Okay, so this is the ranger type class. And I'm guessing this is the mage type class. So I usually like playing mage elementalist. That's usually my jam. So what is this? Radiant, holy bolt, consecration, mm. light and dark spells. Interesting. Um, cursed captain. Piracy skills, specters. Active, call the crew, summon raids, cast forward, cluster of conjured spirits. Okay, for now, I think I'm going to stick with what I am usually comfortable with. I am going to go with... Why is my caps lock on? I am going to go with my usual name. I am not going to worry about customization too much. Mainly because it seems like the options are very limited. Very limited. So, yeah, okay, relics. Uh, what, are, what do these do? Uh, so they... Ah, oh, it gives me another set of skill trees that I can apply. Flaming Destroyer. This weapon, summon ethereal sword. Spinning blade. Crave chaos, basic attacks. Living barrier, barrier. Sure. Let's use a Dusk Mage that's also a Blood Drinker. Why not? Confirm skill choices. Let's try this out. Okay. Obviously I'm gonna have to go with an Alpaca. Nugget. Sure, let's just start on normal and see where it goes. I don't know if it's just on the recording, if the recording is picking this up, but the game feels really choppy. What are you doing, rookie? Don't just stand there. The fort is under attack. The goblin chieftain Wideload sent his flunky yapper to raid the outpost. He's gonna break the gate any moment now. Get up there and lend a hand. I'll catch up. Okay, well, that's cool. Um, at least I've got voiceovers. Uh, what's this? Male bird exclusive gift. Uh, okay. What? What is this? Taffy. Okay, so, uh, can't go up there. Uh, okay, so my main skill is a strikes targets in front of me. Simple enough. And this one is a light skill which directs a holy bolt at enemies. Okay, can't go up there. Okay. You have gained a level. That was quick. Uh, is to open the skills panel, so I can increase my holy bolt, or I can learn something new. Uh, let's see now. Unlocked at level three. These are the pets that I have. I'm guessing, or pet skills I have. Battle cry. Okay, I'll have to find and rescue pets, unlock pet skills. 
Okay. Uh, I'm not going to take that one up. So let's see. Spinning blade and slices to the bone, giving you a 5% chance to bleed enemies for 50% weapon damage. Cool. Unlock with one star. How do I unlock though? Oh, I need one blood drinker, one light, one dark respectables. How? Left click to unlock, but I can't actually unlock anything. Oh, oh, that was, that's stupid. I have to click and hold. Okay, wait, what? I didn't want to... No, I didn't want to do that. Okay, seriously, explain your shit better. I'm guessing that was meant to be die human scum. Oops, too far away. Upgrade gear. Looted items are stored in your inventory. Equip better weapons and armor to increase your effectiveness. What was I using? Oh, glove. A weird glove thing. Okay, white alpaca. Can I move this to my alpaca? Send to pet X. There we go. Thanks for your help, recruit. We couldn't have defeated Yapper without you. After years of peace, why attack now? No matter. Answers can wait. The wounded need help, and the dead need peace. I need you to take the fallen soldiers' swords to Hero's Rest, and lay them upon the altars. Hurry back once you're finished. We're just getting started. Cool. So, that's armor, and I got defense and knockback. Hmm. Sure, why not? It's not the greatest. Okay, but now my attack is a smash attack. Oh. Do I really like this more though? Oh, that was fire. Uh, okay, obviously it doesn't seem like you can help me, so let's move on. So, I do like the graphics. I think I still think it feels very torchlight. Gameplay doesn't feel changed much, but uh, they've, they've made some interesting odd choices in some of the UI things. Not quite sure how I feel about those yet. Quest started. Quest started. Sure. Um, what am I supposed to... Oh. Hmm. More thingies that want to die. I want to try and get to the next level because I messed up those skills and I definitely want to see if I can do something special about that. What even is that? What? What? Consumables such as bundles or recipes and scrolls or single use items which give some kind of a benefit. Okay, so... I picked up some kind of a totem now, which is just completely wiping everyone around me. That was fun. I quite like that. Heroes rest. Uh, so actually, what is my current... Uh, I forgot. I missed now. How do I check? Uh, controls. Map. Potion. Inventory. I'm guessing map will tell me. There. Story quest. Go to Hero's Rest. Exit. Whoops. I don't want to do that immediately because I saw something which looks like a mineable something here. A pistol. 
So at the moment, this kind of feels like there's no limit on what weapons, what characters can use. Is this true? Can I like just use a gun? Yeah, I can just use a gun. Uh, waypoints. Uh, cool. Okay. Can't really do anything with this yet. Uh, so I was looking to see there was... That's a weird little glitchy... Leaf or something that was hanging around there. Is this new booties? That is an interesting mining. Okay, what am I picking up? What weird resources am I now picking up? did it look like I can I'm confused now it looked like I could pick something up here but now I can't it looked like I could interact with the uh, flag but now it doesn't seem that way I don't know what these cannons do but it's fun firing them <laughs> Right, okay, so let's just go have a look at anything else I've picked up. That seems slightly better than what I had, slightly better than that even, and better than that. So, still low level items, but better than what I have. Heroes Rest. Oh, Heroes Rest like in a graveyard, of course. Uh, that looks like a weird trap thingy. Weird resources. Um. Confused. Zombies as well. You have gained a level. Yay! Okay, locate the legendarium icon in the HUD. Open the legendarium panel. Legendarium. Add skill. Wait, what? Dusk Mage. Why can't I do... Okay. Hit with a basic attack. Gain Frenzy. Potions heal for 50% more. On kill of unique, gain a random shrine effect, 10% movement speed. When you use a potion, gain 25 movement speed, have a plus one charge. Um, we'll hit with a basic attack, gain frenzing. Sure, why not? I'm using basic attacks anyway, so I might just as well. There we go. Passive skill. Chance for bleed. That's what I was looking for earlier, so... And I'm gaining frenzy as well. By doing basic attacks. So, let me hit faster, man! Faster! I am legitimately attacking faster, so... That looks good. Gravestone. Oh, and coffins. And coffins. And a stone pile. Clumsy zombie. Legendary. Interesting. Well, sorry to disappoint you, dude. But... Ow! 
Another legendary, really? It's interesting. And I keep picking up long range weapons. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Whoa, okay. Uh, this feels bad. This feels bad. Okay, I need to get out of here because I need to go and check these items that I got first before trying to kill that thing. And now I'm chopping trees. Yes, because that's what you do in torchlight games. Okay, so wait, 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 wait. That looks a lot better than what I had. That looks a lot better than what I had. This as well, but do I really want guns? Do I want to make use of guns? Basic attack, single fire round. Basic attack, fire, single fire round for 140. 140 freaking damage. So, I mean, compared to what I had, that seems pretty good. Okay. So. You are wounded. Oh, there's another legendary in between these guys as well. Uh, so... Let's see now what's going on. Let's hit a couple of spells in there, just as well. I am? No, man, that's nothing. It's nothing! That's not being grave. The boss chest. Is, oh, the boss chest, I'm guessing, is this thing here. There's a pet cage as well. What did I gain? Um. Oh, hello. Parker. Yes. Hello, Parker. Uh, okay, so I got stuff. Let's see, what did I get? Uh, mm -hmm. Feelers. Elegant blade. Ooh, frigid steel reach. That looks nice. <gasps> A great sword. Never mind. So the great sword gives me 350 weapon attack, but slow. However, I do have the frenzy bonus. So, so how slow is slow? Oh, it's pretty damn slow, actually. Hmm, that is pretty slow. Maybe let's stick with this one. Seems to be a much better compromise. It's also got some reach to it. So, let's see how that goes. I am chugging through potions, though. Uh, ooh, steadfast dead. Okay. Only six damage? Sheesh! That really isn't a lot. Place the swords of fallen soldiers on gravestones. Oh, right. That's what I'm actually here to do. I have a quest. Uh, I should probably keep that in mind when I'm doing stuff. Man, that seems like so little damage compared to what the rifle was doing. But it does let me equip a shield as well, though. Um... Hmm. So, Mana Regen seems like a good one. Well, I think let's at least try this out a bit more. Oops, that's still too far away because there's frigid damage. So, I'm guessing that'll help with some stuff at least. 
Right. Uh, okay, so I need to do stuff with stuff. That was a trap. Of course it was. Let's get my speed up. Oh yeah. Man, once the speed triggers, it starts getting nice and hectic. But uh, before that, I just seem to be struggling a lot. Health potion. Nice. Um, my fame is slowly going up as well. There's a chest. Okay, so I need to... There we go. That's Fallen Warrior. And another legendary bloke. Of course my inventory is full. Uh, it's not as good as... So let's just move all these. Mushroom is a common focus. Interesting. Uh, so let's move all these items to my pet. I'm guessing I can send my pet to sell stuff again. Not as good as what I had. So I'm going to also send that to my pet. I'm going to send that to the pet. That to the pet. What's this? Fire damage and health regen. Plus evade. I might want to keep that for now. Elegant blade. Great sword. Venomous great sword. Crit chance. Crit chance. Chance to stun. Bonus damage to basic attacks. That seems good quite nice uh, so I think I'll let's keep that one let's keep that one and let's keep this one let's get rid of that one I'll keep that one for now I'll keep that in case I want to use it and then let's go let's buy some potions what is this health potion antidote polarized um, sell items and buy potions. So I'll just run without the help for now. I'm not sure my pet is really doing that much damage anyway. So now, let's see, that's my overview map. I still need to put down two more, two more? Yep, so there's one. And then the last one, I think, was up. Wait. Oh, it toggles a bunch of different map views. I was very confused now for a second. Okay, so this is the last one. Quest complete. Uh, I gained a quest. Okay. So, fame and contracts. Bounty of gold. Claim. Sure, why not? And this is a chiseled rail master figure plans. Why would I care about these things? and fashion right so you get different stuff from it adventurers contract okay I'll just keep that for now I have no idea how long I'll be playing this game so do I want to just teleport back now or wait there we go edgewood bluff portal Open a portal to return directly to Travail Point. This can be done anywhere. You have received a quest. I have received a quest. Wow, this arrived. place. They they rebuilt quick. May the fallen soldiers rest in peace. We're all grateful for your help, recruit, but we must resume our mission. 
I need you to gather medicine while we're shorthanded. There are a lot of sick people back in Red Haven counting on you. Are you up to the task? Sure, why not? Use the waypoint in the center to travel to travel through the map. And I want to go to Edgewood Bluff, which is a one I already unlocked. And I'm still not entirely sure where I need to go. So what I do know is that I need to go through here. So I'm hoping to at least gain one more level. Because I just want to at least try out one more skill. But I have to say, so far, game, it's not, I mean, it's nothing great. There's nothing about this that is just screaming, oh, I must absolutely finish playing this. But at the same time, based on some of the things I've been reading, it's nowhere near as bad as people have been making it out to be. Biggest thing bothering me so far is weird UI choices, like having to hold long click certain things for actions to happen that's that's kind of weird. right so i think let's quickly go back to travail point there is a tutorial for the gambler so let's find the gambler see what that's about you have completed a quest a coin Coin. Um, I'm not sure what's going on now. What's what's escape? Gambler, you found the town gambler. Each town is a resident gambler who will offer mysterious items in exchange for coins. If you have too much gold, try your luck at the gambler for a chance. Just who I wanted to see. Ah. Requires level five. Requires level seven. So let's see oh, what be. don't I have. Eh. I actually have something for everything. Let's just money, have a look because gear. why not? A random one handed weapon. Why is that right click? What? I'm. I don't know what's going on. A battered club. Fantastic. You come back with more coin. Okay. Um. I don't really know what's going on right now because. Why is why is that right click? Okay, let's see if I can quickly get another level and have a look at one more skill before I call it quits. Ooh, dungeon. Whoa, what was I attacking there? That was weird and random. That looks like a trap chest. Spiders, of course. So the question is, does this game have an arachnophobia friendly mode? Because I have friends who refuse to play games that have spiders in them. Man, gain, gain XP real slow. Ooh, Molten Slinger Spider. Interesting. Ah, some nice verticality in the maps. Always a good thing. Always makes exploration just that little bit more interesting. Why did he run into the fire? Definitely have some concerns about... Whoa! Oh, and there's a boss fight, of course.
Okay, so... This one, this fight definitely slightly more difficult than the previous ones. Let's see now. Okay, uh-huh. I definitely need to take out these Molten Slingers because they are screwing with my power. Or with my health. Okay, Molten Slinger, die. I do like that there's some form of telegraphing of their attacks. I don't know if that's because of the difficulty that I'm playing on. But I feel it gives some tactics to the to the fight, some strategy, which uh, is something that I felt was lacking in some of the Diablo games. Skycap Mushrooms. I'm guessing these are special items that I can do something with. And another pet cage. Really? Come on, fly down. What's the point? Uh, I'm going to release you. Right, so... Let's see what I got from that. So... Breaches of the Night. Damage, Dark Spear and Unholy Bolt increases. Vanquisher, rare great weapon. 350 attack, fire damage, plus one to Holy Bolt. Ooh. That seems pretty good. Definitely feels like something I would like to add to my repertoire. Pancakes of the Champions. Bounty of Gold. Interesting. Okay, so let's go have a look at my skills. So Holy Bolt gains some benefit. And this is a spinning blade at the target location. Unholy Bolt. Dark Spears. Ooh. Hello. Dark Spears, let's check you out. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. I like that. Okay, so talk to General Grey. Oh, wait. I was... I needed to go back to Travel Point. Go to Travel Point and talk to General Grey. Where are you? There Good job Who are with you? the mushrooms, recruit. What's that? A giant purple monster? Okay, General Grey, Skycap mushrooms are one of a count. Talk to Zaya. Hey, adventurer. I overheard you and the general talking. Giant purple monsters? You must mean the Netherin. Long ago they invaded our world, but the heroes of the past banished them. Are you saying they're back? We have to change the general's mind. Adventurer, travel deeper into the forest and collect proof that the Netherim threat is real. Bones, hides, skulls, anything you can find to convince her. I have finished a quest. Okay, so... A quest. I've gained a quest, again. Right, so this was my first look at Torchlight 3. Definitely the game isn't as bad so far as I've been reading from some people. I quite enjoyed it. Definitely some weird UI nigglies that I really can't understand why they would have made these decisions. But gameplay wise, seems fun. Skills look good. So far, definitely seems like something that I might want to play again. So with that, thank you very much for joining. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.